If you are here, you have some thoughts about learning 3D modeling, so why would you want to do that? Let's talk about this. I'll first share my side of the story, then I would like to hear it from you, and we can have a little discussion down there in the comments. So let me tell you a short little story, but let me show you a video first. This was Galen. Galen was a character we conceived a while ago. And if you check our T4 Design platform or our channel here, you will probably come across uh, Galen. How we conceived Galen is not the topic of today. However, after we did, we made a 3D model for it. Then we took that 3D model, we put it in an email, we sent it out, and after a few days, we got a box back. And inside that box, there were little gallons like this. Those were not screen gallons anymore. Those were real gallons that we were able to touch and feel. In this journey of making, 3D modeling is right at the center. 3D modeling is both a virtual prototyping tool and a tool that enabled us to make actual thing. The actual making can be through a 3D printer you have at home, a machine shop, or through outsourcing like we did in the case of Gallon. So for me, 3D modeling has always been about this superpower. That superpower is the freedom to make and create. A superpower that many people don't have. And it's also a superpower that many people do not know that they can easily have. That superpower is also the reason why I like 3D modeling. This was my side of the story. How about you? Are you interested in learning 3D modeling? And if so, why? We would love to hear your side of the story. So make sure to let us know down in the comments. And if you're interested in learning 3D modeling, make sure to check out the resources we have in the description of this video, which includes links to our learning resources. Quick, subscribe and click the bell icon to give Gallon the power to fight for justice.